Hi. I thought before I started the video on my Standing Liberty quarter book, I would answer a few questions from my last video. One question was from Desert Rebel. He was asking what were the numbers or the type of books that I use for my Dan Skull book. Okay, my last video I did the Barber Headquarters or Liberty Headquarters book. And the number for that one is 7130. Right there. And the number to this Standing Liberty Court book is number 7132. And Keith K of Detecting the Berg in my last video mentioned I look pretty uh, badass in these do-rags that I got from Quick Draw. Well, I must have that scary kind of look, I guess, because I was hired as a model 15 and 20 years ago to do a little modeling for um, medical supplies and uh, outdoor outfitters. Okay, would you bend over, please? And these are great for cold weather outdoor activities. Nice and soft. Not so soft. So I thought you'd get a kick out of that, Keith K. Keith K from Detecting the Bird. I thank you for going to your Army Navy surplus and picking me up one of these. It's a P-38. Recognize it now? It is a good tool. Thanks, Keith. Okay, here's what I've done with the book. <clears throat> if you see no sticker underneath the coin, it means I found it metal detecting. If there's a sticker on it with a T, it means I found it with a metal detector, but I traded it, uh, traded it in for a better condition one that I had purchased. And if you see the dollar sign sticker there, it means I've the coin was purchased through a flea market or eBay. All right, we're going to start out with the 1917S Variety 1 that I found, and it looks pretty slick here. I can barely identify it through a magnifier, but that's the obverse. Here's the reverse of 1917S. Moving to the 1917D Variety 2, I have some pretty good close-ups of these I'll show in pictures later. But grade them if you would please. That's the obverse of 1917D Variety 2. Please give me a grade on this if you can. Thank you. And the reverse of the 1917D. One that, no, that's the 1918, sorry about that. But it is in good shape. The obverse of 1918. It only looks like it's an 18 over 17. It's not. It's got a little glob on the right hand side. But tell me what you think of it. Thank you. 1918 D or 1918 reverse. Now this is my best valued Standing Liberty quarter. It's the 1919 D. In very good condition. I'll show you a close up of that toward the end. This is the obverse. Here's three close up shots under a USB microscope. It has a scratch through or underneath the 1919. So apparently I couldn't have done that or it would have been in the 1919. Tell me what you think. The reverse of the 1919D. Here I have a 1925 obverse, and this was a trade. I found one, but this is in better condition. So if you want to grade the obverse of this, I'll show you the reverse also. The reverse of the 1925, and this is a trade this isn't one I found, it was just in better condition than the one I found. Here's a 1926 that I found. I think it's a pretty good condition. There's the reverse. The reverse of the 1926. Please give me your opinion. What do you think they grade at? Here's a 1926D that I found with a metal detector. Hopefully you can see that D in there. It's there. Here is the reverse of that 1926D. Here's a 1926S I had found, but this purchase was in better shape, except for a little bit of fuzz there. Nice looking coin, 1926S obverse. The reverse of that 1926S that I traded, the one that I metal detected for, because this one's in better shape. I also found one of these 1927s 
actually a couple of them I think, but this one, this purchase is in better shape. It's nice to shop at the flea market. Same with this 1927 as well. I found one, but it was pretty flat. Speaking of the flea market, here's a purchase, a 1928 Standing Liberty Quarter. It's 1928 Standing Liberty Quarter. Not too bad. 1928D, you don't see a sticker around that one because I found it. Not in the greatest of shape, but it is mine. That's the reverse. 1928D, reverse of the Standing Liberty Quarter. Now this is another purchase, a 1928S that I didn't have. I hadn't found metal detecting. And under a microscope, it looks like it could be a repunch uh, mint mark on there. That's the obverse. That S looks double punched to me. Tell me your opinion. This 1928S was purchased. And I traded this purchase and put my metal detected 1929 back in another bag. That's the obverse of that one. Here's a 1929 that I traded for one that I metal detected. Another purchase. A 1929S in pretty good shape. It looks like it had been clean, but I don't care. I didn't have one. The obverse. Traded means I had a purchase that was in better shape than the one I metal detected. Here's a purchase. I didn't have a 1929 or 29S. It doesn't look in bad shape. And a 1930 Standing Liberty Quarter that I metal detected. Looks in pretty good shape. And the reverse of it and my 1930 but sadly I have never metal detected a uh, 1930 S this is a purchase the reverse of it and my purchased 1930 S I didn't fill a whole lot of slots but I'm kind of happy with it I do wish I would have purchased a new book instead of a used one all right that's my standing Liberty quarter buck that's done. I can check that one off the list. Next will be Washington Quarters, including proof only issues, which I only think I have one of. And this is a used book as well. I hope this is better to me than the last book. My advice buy a new book. Dan Skull. Whitman, whatever. Buy a new book and hand it down. Thank you. Hope you liked it and I hope you'll comment.